What's going on? I like what you've done with the place. A lot of work's been put into this. This is the last thing done in this building. So you got an interesting opener. The last year you guys played UCLA here, Josh Rosen's back. What concerns you most about these guys? You know, after being up close and in, in, in person with Josh Rosen, I think he's one of the best, if not the best quarterbacks in the country. In the game we played in particular, you know, he's tough. You know, I'm sure he's going to have a little chip on his shoulder after the, after the overtime of last year. Anything special about going into this venue to, to play your opening game of the season there? A lot of guys haven't been to L.A. You know, I can remember going there the first time, and, and you pull up, and, you know, you, you, the sun's out, and, you know, the mountain, just saying, wow, this is it's a great place. Number one in America takes down number six. Maggie's take a second loss for the season. And the Rebels now have knocked off Texas A&M. You hit that November wall. What steps have you taken to try and avoid that or get a, get pushed past that? You know, I, you know, we, we made some tough decisions. You know, we, we made a change in strength and conditioning. You know, we got to be careful because we've been pretty good at the beginning of the year. You know, we have to address being able to to finish the season. These older guys have embraced these new guys, understanding that hey, maybe if I'm playing 50 snaps a game instead of 70 snaps, then you know that adds up week nine, 10, 11, 12. Coach knows he has to win, and he has to win this year, and we have to do better than we've done in the past. What's going through your mind when you hear, you know, it's your bosses basically, you know, putting something out there, and you're like, okay, how do we manage this now going forward? Well, it's, you know, for me, I'm a big boy. I, I've been doing this 30 years. You know, I've been a head coach since my 10th year. Um, that's part of it. And you don't duck that, but you can't dwell on it. You know, I said earlier this year, nobody puts more pressure on me than me and, and, and wanting to be a champion. In the SEC, you know, there's there's 14 fan bases. Seven of them think they're going to win the West, and seven of them think they're going to win the East. And anything short of that, they're not very happy with you. But uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world.